Hi, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your full body dumbbell hit sculpt workout. So we're gonna use just one set of dumbbells to strengthen and tone and sculpt your body while getting your heart pumping for cardio. All you need for this workout is a set of dumbbells. I will give you some options if you're using a kettlebell and options for all different fitness levels, including pregnancy and postnatal. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start just with a quick little warm up. Let's roll those shoulders to the back and to the front. I'm just gonna be going a little bit lighter with my dumbbells because I filmed this exact workout right before this. Big deep breath in. In a live format, which if you did it uh, with me, you know we had some technical difficulties. So I am filming it again so it can stay live or it can stay on my channel, roll through your back. But my muscles are tired. So, because I literally just did the whole workout. So I'm gonna go a little bit lighter with fives. You use what's best for you. Let's take it down here, roll those shoulders. And again, I'm gonna give you some options if you're using a kettlebell. And I will give you different levels for different fitness levels, including prenatal, postnatal, diastasis recti. Bring it up, tap it out, reach across. We're gonna keep this warm up short and you can just get more of a warm up on your own if you need it. Reach it over and bring those knees up. Yes. Hamstring curls to the back. And then let's just get a little stretch right through here. There we go. Okay, so check everything out. We're gonna go ahead and start with one dumbbell or if you have one kettlebell. If you have the kettlebell, you'll probably wanna hold it between two hands or you can keep it racked here. One dumbbell in one hand, I've got it in my right, your left. We're gonna take that arm out. We're gonna sit low into a squat. We're gonna press up, reach across. As we turn, make sure we're turning on the knees and the hips. Lots of power here and then drop it low. Here we go. Down and reach. Down and reach. <sighs> Breathe low to high. If you have a heavier dumbbell or again that kettlebell, totally fine to have one dumbbell between your two hands. <sighs> Four more right here. Four. <sighs> and three. <sighs> two. One. Good, so let's switch it to that other side. If you've got it, pull that core in tight, sit low, reach across, squat, rotational press. Down and reach, down and reach. Again, pivoting on the knee and the hip, so we really twist into it. Dumbbell or kettlebell can be between the two hands. Down and reach, reach, here we go up to you. You can also do this workout with no weights at all and just keep moving and breathe. Four more. Four, three, two, one more. And relax. Let's take it in the center. Hold it here. Push the dumbbell in. Standing crunch. So if you are pregnant or early, postpartum, or you know you have ab separation, diastasis recti, I'll just call it DR from here on out. Try not to do too much flexion, just keep that little pull and pull that core in. If you're not, you can get a little more into it like a crunch, but still think about zipping up that core. Breathe, or eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, tap it out, roll those shoulders. Go ahead and grab your other dumbbell. We're going to take it to a side lunge. So roll those shoulders back. I'm gonna step out to my right, your left. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna get deep into that side lunge. Palms are facing forward. As we come up, I'm gonna pull the elbows in. So it's actually a row as we come up, squeezing the shoulder blades. Pull that core in and then drop it back down. If you have one heavier dumbbell or a kettlebell, you can just do the same thing 
from one side. If you've got two, join me here. Side lunge, pull up and row. Here we go, palms forward, pull it up. Here we go, down and through. Drop it low, watch me from the side. Deep, up and pull. So you're really pulling those elbows behind your body. Drop into that hip, breathe, pull it up, and breathe. Four, eight, seven, lean into it here. Six, pull, five, four, three, two, one more. So tap it out. We're gonna get the same thing. Other side, we're just gonna turn our palms in, roll those shoulders back, stepping out to my left, your right. Here we go. So here, pull it up. Same idea. So we're kind of going through a little bit of a bicep curl. Maybe I'll show you this way. But pull those elbows behind. So low. So normally we do that row bent over, but we're pulling up and through down and squeeze if you've got that kettlebell it's just one pull it up let's go eight and squeeze seven breathe six and five yes four three two squeeze one more and relax Tap it out, roll through those shoulders. We're gonna stay right here, catch your breath. Turn those toes out, palms down in front. We're gonna do a deep plie, and as we come up, we're gonna curl and then do a little circle and then drop it behind our body. So it's kind of curl in the front, curl in the back, getting a little half circle in between, low in that plie squat, strong in the arms. Here we go. Down, curl up, rotate back, Curl up, rotate forward. So think that you're drawing a circle at the top of those dumbbells. Drop low, pull up and squeeze through the inner thighs and the glutes, down and roll through and breathe. Drop low, squeeze behind and breathe. Yes, for four, rotate through. Three, two, last one, and relax. Let's bend our knees to drop those dumbbells down. One quick little cardio interval, and then we're gonna grab a quick sip of water. So level one, low impact, just step to the side, pull it through. So same motion we just did, right? So we're focusing on those back and shoulder muscles and landing in a little bit of a squat. If you wanna take it to a little more of a hop, you can, a little low impact grounded hop, or here, power through. Here we go. Up and up. Yes. Up to you, you be where you are today. That's all that I ask. Thank you for showing up and doing this workout. Four, three, two, one. Tap it out, I hope you're feeling that cardio. I know I am. Catch your breath, sip of water, and let's grab one dumbbell again. So if at any point you need to take a longer break, you just hit pause, totally fine, especially my pregnant mamas, watch that heart rate. You might be feeling it a little bit more, or anyone if you're beginner, new to exercise, again, be where you are today. Okay, so we're gonna take it one dumbbell, so if I have my right foot forward, I'm gonna have the dumbbell in the left hand or left foot forward, right hand, right? So I'm gonna show you this one's with the dumbbell. If it's too heavy, you can do it with no weight at all. Just do the motion. So we're in a nice wide lunge stance. I'm gonna drop it all the way down, trying to touch my dumbbell and even my knee kind of hovering right above that ground. And I'm gonna pull all the way through. So it's like row, curl, press. And I've got a light dumbbell. So if that feels like too much, you can just do it at the halfway point to here or here, especially if you've got that kettlebell too. Or 
just take it all the way up, just touching. You'll still get the motion through the arms and breathe. So wherever you wanna be, if you can, drop it low, power through, drop it low, power through, down, up. So all the way through my back, my shoulders, biceps, and all the way up. Three, Woo, balance, two, one more. Good, let's drop it all the way down right here. So we're here in that front lunge, dumbbell and fingertips or kettlebells, cross it over and back and over and back. I know lots of hip, right? That feels like too much. Take it here. That's fine too. For four, three, two, one. Power it up. We're gonna take it, stay in that same hand that the dumbbell was in, take it up over your head, and we're gonna go triceps. If you've got that kettlebell or it feels too heavy, take it between two. If you can, be one behind the head. Here we go. Drop it down and up. So I like to have this hand here to give me a little bit of extra support, right? Breathe and up. Making sure it's not going out to the side. It's going down behind my body. And breathe. Four more right here. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna keep it in that same hand same leg forward that was before, right? We're gonna cross it into that curtsy. We're gonna stay into that curtsy. Drop it low. If this bothers your knee, keep a regular lunge. Take that arm out, drop it down. Regular row and regular curtsy, but super low. Here we go. Pull up and down. Squeeze, flat back. I like to keep this arm out just to keep it going. If you're pregnant and you don't have a lot of room there, that's okay, you just do the best you can. Get low if you can and breathe. Four more. Four and three and two and one. Tap it out right here, right? Woo, we feel that there, right? I know. We're gonna get all of that on that other side. Catch your breath, shake out those legs. We're turning to the other side, other foot forward. Remember, while you catch your breath, I'll talk you through it. We got all those options. We're trying to get super low. If we've got the dumbbell, we're pulling up through the row, through the curl, through the press, and all the way down. If you've got a heavier or just your dumbbell, you can just keep it in the row. And you can also just do body weight. Core's in tight. Join me here, low to high. Down, all the way through. Down, all the way through. And breathe, and up breathe all the way up you don't have to go the same speed as me i want you to stay safe get low if you're feeling that balance feel free to grab onto something grab the wall grab a chair let's go four and up and three and two one more good let's take it all the way down Cross it over and back. Cross it over and back. If you're here, that's fine too. And breathe. Four more, stay low. Four and three and two and one. All the way up, keep it in that same hand. Woo! I know, I'm feeling it. Take it up. We're going to tries behind the head. So same arm has the dumbbell. If you get the kettlebell or you're putting it between two because it's a little heavier, that's fine too. Join me here. Here we go, behind the head. Bring it up. And up. Zip up in that core, nice and strong. Elbow is right by your head. Dumbbell's coming behind. Breathe. My heart is pumping. That's where our hit comes in, right? And then that burn is our sculpt. Four. Three, two, one more, and relax. Keep it in that same arm. Cross it over into that curtsy, right? We're gonna drop it low, as low as you can go. Pull it up in that row. Ready, here we go. Down and up, down 
and up. Really dropping that knee, pulling that elbow right up by your side. I know our backs are tired. We've done a lot of row type motions to really strengthen mid, upper, and lower back and shoulders. Those posture muscles, we need it right now, right? For four, and three, and two, one more. Bring it all the way up. One last thing from here. Grab it here between the two. One last push for tries. Dumbbell between two hands or kettlebell. Here we go. Take it down and up behind your head and up. And breathe. Elbow in. Breathe. Yes. As we get tired, make sure they don't go out to the air. Can we get eight more singles? Eight, straight up. Seven, burn. Six, core pull down. Five, so close. Three, two, one, and relax. Ah, roll those shoulders. Awesome, guys. Drop that one dumbbell down, bend your knees to do it. Quick little cardio interval, watch me. We're gonna go over and cross, cross, over, over, cross. This is your level one for crossing right over left, left over right. Two jacks, two crosses. Arms and legs, low impact. Going up and up, cross and cross. Up and up, cross and cross. Up <laughs> and up, cross and cross, low impact is here. Cross and cross. Eight, yes, seven, I know I'm forgetting. And five, four, cross it. Three, yes, last two. One more. Woo! And relax. Grab a quick step. You know me. As long as you're moving, that's all that matters. Catch your breath. Lean into it here. Roll through. All right, team. So, we're going to grab those dumbbells. We're going to do some versions of the swing. If you have your kettlebell, you know your normal kettlebell swing. You can check out my video on how to do it one or two dumbbells. Our very first level is actually not a swing at all. It's just gonna be that regular deadlift. So watch me here, shoulders back. I want you to stay here. Dumbbells come right down, little soft bend in the knees. So start here so you get a feel for it. Everybody can start here and just get that stretch. Bring it up, get familiar with that hip hinge. Little stretch while we catch our breath. And then I want you to stay here, or if you can, we're gonna take it to that dumbbell swing. So two dumbbells, we're gonna hinge it back, power it up. It's a little quicker than that deadlift. Arms are not working. Watch my hips. Join me when you're ready. Drive those hips back. Totally fine to stay with that deadlift, especially if you need a modification for your heart rate. If you can, drive those hips back, power it up. Go eight more, here we go. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax, okay? So watch me here. We're gonna stay in that hinge position, nice and wide with those dumbbells. Row, push it out, in and down. Row, push it out, in. If you've got that kettlebell, just one side or one heavy dumbbell, just alternate, just the row. If you can, add that kick back. Up, push out, push to the ceiling. Up, push, I know that's heavy, so totally fine. Just keep the row if you need to. Breathe. Can we get two more right here? Two, and down, one. Drop those dumbbells down, pedal those feet. We're gonna bring it up, no weights. 
Little side knee for abs and cardio. Slowly roll it up. Everybody can do this. Take one hand up, rotate out that knee and that hip. Side knee, here we go. Pull it in. You don't have to get it all the way in. If you just get here, that's okay. Just through the obliques, core's in tight. If you can, all the way in. And breathe, and out. Yes. Two, other side, right here. Rotate it out, bring it in. If you need some balance, hold on to the wall, to a chair, to the couch, doesn't matter. Pull it in, obliques, while we catch our breath, before we go back to that swing. And then we take it down to the mat. For four, three, two, one, and relax. All right guys, last thing, we're gonna do a skier swing or just that deadlift. You pick where you need to be for you. Hinge at those hips, grab those dumbbells. It's not a squat, it's not a raise, it's a hinge. Here we go, power back. Pull that core in, so watch my hips. Driving back, my eyes stay up, even though I'm dropping that chest, then I'm locking out of the top. As you know, swings are about the only time we tell you to lock out, but lock out those knees, pull that core in, Shoulder blades in, all the way through. Tighten in the glutes. Here we go, for eight, and up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Drop it down, Woo, stretch that back out. Breathe, go ahead and roll it up. Quick sip of water. Let's take it down on the mat. Let's finish this strong. All right, team. So we're coming down to a seated position. One dumbbell or kettlebell. So we're gonna start with just a deep core breath. Big inhale as we exhale. Think about pulling that core in. You're not sucking in or arching, but we're gonna add a little bit of resistance. So as we exhale, pull it in. Push your hands into that dumbbell. Start in a seated position. Big inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So I want my pregnant ladies and my newly postpartum, or if you have diastasis recti, to stay right here. If you're really pulling in and pushing in, you're gonna feel that deep core activated. Everyone else, if you feel comfortable doing it, let's go halfway back, inhale, exhale, pull in, push in. And you can stay here or lift those feet off the ground. Up to you. You decide how far you want to go back. And breathe. Two more. Last one. And relax. Let's go ahead and roll onto our sides. So side plank. Totally fine to modify. If you stay on those knees, everyone can do it up on the toes if you want. Keep one dumbbell right in front. We're just gonna pull everything in. Drop that knee if you need to, with or without that dumbbell. Pull it up, drop it down. Not too much of a twist. If you're not pregnant or newly postpartum, you can add a little rotation of the shoulders, but it's up to you. You can also just do the motion without any weight at all. Breathe, knee can be down. Four more right here. Four, three, two, one more. And relax, bring it up, stretch it over. We're gonna get all of that on the other side. We are so close. So with or without the weight, on the knees or all the way up on those feet. I like to cross one leg over, find that deep core, Pull it in, pull it up with the arm. Here we go. As long as the core is in tight and we're pulling that elbow in, totally fine with or without the weight. If you want to add a little rotation, you can. Just probably not prenatal, postnatal. Let's go eight and rotate. Seven, six, five, 
keep breathing. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Breathe, stretch it over. Even out here in my studio, I can hear my kids. I can hear the baby. Glad I'm in here. She's crying. Okay, so we are gonna come on all fours, get a quick little stretch. We are so close, I promise. I know I always say almost there, but I promise we really are. Okay, on all fours. So, modification, we're just gonna do that bird dog. Opposite arm, opposite leg, big reach, back to center, maintaining that deep core connection. So stay here if you are pregnant, newly postpartum or diastasis recti. For everybody else, we're gonna lift it up into that bear plank. So we went right from our all fours position and we're just gonna tap them in. I know it feels a little weird, but you can do it. And then if you want, cross them over. So it's just like a little mountain climber from the bear plank. I know that feels weird. We're used to a full plank, but you're gonna feel that core because it's staying contracted. So modify bird plank, a bird dog, ah, breathe. Should call it a bird plank or little taps in, little rotations. Breathe, breathe. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax it back, big stretch, right? All right, team, one last thing. So your first level, you're just gonna stay on all fours. Pull that core in, we're gonna go down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Pregnant, newly post, DR, stay here. Next level, you can do the same thing from your knees or all the way up on your toes. Let's finish strong, down, down, up, up. So as you're doing this, you keep going. I want you to think about that deep core. So even though you're pushing through upper body, I want you to think about that pull. Your core is helping you get off the ground as you push through. Up and down, here we go. Last four. Yes, three, two, one more. Yes, and relax. I know I didn't even finish that last one. That's okay, be where you are today. Stretch it back. Woo. All right, team, quick little stretch. As always, get more of a stretch on your own, one foot forward, reach it up, fold it over, breathe into that. Hopefully you feel good and energized. We got full body strength, full body cardio, fold it over. High and low intervals, but mostly high, right? Be sure to check out all my eBooks and programs if you want a little more of a structured version or a schedule of how to use all the workouts on my YouTube channel and check out all of the hundreds of different types of workouts I have here. All completely free here on YouTube. Dumbbell, kettlebell, resistance, everything, prenatal, postnatal. Reach it over. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can even leave me a comment below. Oh, and check out my nutrition guide as well. It's also linked in the description. Not a diet, just flexible, but structured plan to help you build a nutritionally balanced plate. Roll those shoulders, one big deep breath in and out. Thank you for showing up today. You did it. That was your full body dumbbell hit sculpt workout. Great job, everybody.